Hello, everybody. This is Julie D from Nordonia Hills Debt News, and welcome to Jabbering with Julie. How is everybody this evening? <sighs> so once again, I have a lot to tell you. This is a busy, busy show. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> First of all, one of my favorite events just happened this weekend. I don't know if you saw me there. Picture behind me is my booth. And um, I had a lot going on there. You could pick up my newspaper. I even have one of my official newspaper stands. <clears throat> um, I had some uh, social media classes that you could sign up for right there. And I had a raffle. So I have all the entries for my raffle right here. It's clear to see that. And um, so later on in the show, I will pick the winner. We had 90 entries and um, they, when one lucky winner will win this ton of fun. Look at this. Ah! It's full of candy, a Jabbering with Julie mug. These are like more than full size. These are like family size candy bars, well, depending on consumption of candy. And um, a ton of gift cards um, from local businesses. Uh, Cass D'Angelo, Dave Cosmic Subs, Blossom and Bows, which by the way, they donated this one. So thank you to them. Achieve Nutrition, Chick-fil-A. I'm telling you, this was a big thing. Starbucks and Duncan. So you should say thank you to Jabbering with Julie. And whoever wins this, well, I know they're going to be very thankful and they can pick that prize up at postnet so you have to watch the show the rest of the show to find out who won i mean you know if you weren't there then you don't have a chance to win but you may know who win or you may know who won uh, so um we probably well wait till later in the show to see for if if i announce whether they're going to have another contest or not for next week just have to stay tuned for that um, and so, I mean, so much happened at the expo. I, I, I could fill a whole show with that. But speaking of PostNet Macedonia, they did win the prize for the booth with the best carnival theme. Ta-da! Dave Rydell, his wife, and Margie Valenti, our chamber president, and some of his helpers. They were very happy. And um, it, was a, it was a really good event. I, and I want to thank all the fans that came over and said, hello. So, um, you know, I have my spider cat marketing fans. I have Nordonia Hills News online fans. I have newspaper fans. And now I have Jabbering with Julie fans that come up and say hi, including the guy from the black truck that I saw in the Walmart parking lot months ago. He stopped in to say hi, as well as lots of other people. So it's so fun meeting all these different fans from different um aspects you know if i don't get them one way i'll get them the other you know i like attention i guess ha huh, enough about that anyways um so later in the show i will announce the winner um but the expo um i really enjoyed it i was surprised i actually had people walking around talking to vendors which was great you never really know after how things are all right, so the other big story in town is um, a little bit of a, well, it's more than a little bit, big shakeup in Norfolk Village. So here's the scoop, um, if you hadn't heard. Um, and last Wednesday night's uh, Norfolk Village Council meeting, Jesse Nihas, current mayor, uh, announced that he will step down as mayor as of the end of like December 31st. And January 1st, Council President Jen Dobrowski will be the mayor of Norfolk Village. So isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Um, and then, um, so soon, I guess we should find out who is going to be um, appointed council president. And then um, I think sometime in January, the council will announce a, a new person that will be on the council. So, whew, lots going on there. Um, no scandal. Um, people think that a mayor leaving in the midst of his mayorship, it's got to be a scandal, but he just found a dream job in Michigan. So, so it is one of those things where you can't pass it up. And he will be missed. 
Um, he's definitely been doing a great job for the village and, and I know he's been on council and mayor all together if you added up like 17 years. Um, but anyway, anyway, he's going to be missed and we look forward to working with the new mayor, um, Jen Dombrowski, January 1st. So that came out of left field. We were a little surprised about that, but you know, we're, um, we're happy that he's going to be happy. Uh, let's see, speaking of Northfield Village, um, Hugo is going to have his Christmas trees ready. I'm not sure, I, I think he's setting up. I'm not sure if they're available yet, but they will be definitely available the day after Thanksgiving. And, you know, um, I hate to remind you guys this, but um, the, the day of this recording is November 15th and next week is Thanksgiving. So I think you need to do something about that. Um, it's shocking. I still think it's October. It kind of feels like October, even though we have snow, you know, especially yesterday, it looked like Christmas. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I just, it just, to me, it doesn't feel like next week is Thanksgiving. And if you're having that problem as well, then, um, you know, you may want to make sure you have stuff for that, you know, for the, either a place to go or something to cook that day. Hopefully you won't have any problems. Um, so moving on, um, Jeannie's Gems sent us um, lots of information. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. And um, she wanted to let everybody know that she is a nonprofit, non I can't talk, a nonprofit charity with Amazon and for her cat rescue. If you have if you have anything, then you can use this link and um, and share it. And you, you could log in and um, choose Jenny's Gem as charity. And she gets some, some assistance with that. She's looking for Purina receipts, um, volunteers to come pet play feed and litter her feline rescues for various time frames. High school students can also get community service credit for school as um, she is a nonprofit in Macedonia. She's also looking for volunteers to help feed her outdoor colonies in Macedonia. It will take about 40 minutes, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. time frame. And she's looking for people that wanna foster a cat and save a life. So um, I will put the link in the description so you could read all the details about that. And I can't see where I'm going. It's not good. This may be something that you don't know. There is a new business that opened up in Boston, Mill, Boston Heights, Boston Mills. Yeah, something opened up in the ski resort. That'd be great. And it is called Fleet Response. They are a specialized auto third-party administrator offering claim safety compliance solutions for fleet risk and safety teams. And I have a link, um, they have a grand opening and uh, they sent a press release. So I um, will put that link down in the description as well. I told you there's a whole lot going on. Um, <clears throat> just a little comment. I'm not going to talk about the Browns. Enough said about that <clears throat> everywhere else. Um, don't need to pile on them. Um, but the Nordonia Knights um, did play the, in the playoffs against Hoven. They did not win, but what a great season they had. Congratulations to Coach Fox and all the other coaches and the students and the parents. <coughs> Sorry. And everybody involved in all that. It was um, quite the exciting season and you know the cheerleaders and the band let me tell you the band this weekend um i should be able to send a link to you in the description um to so you can actually see their performances or performance um because this weekend they were at band of america's grand national finales at lucas oil stadium <clears throat> Sorry, you know, I always get a tickle when I'm on the show. I think I'm allergic to jabbering with Julie. All righty, so moving through my thing. Um, got an itchy nose. 
Oh, this is important information. Um, Summit County, we got a notice today. Oh, a video that I don't want to play. Um, where'd it go? Summit County suspended their um, adoptions temporarily. Yeah, Summit County Animal Control effective immediately, temporarily suspended their adoptions and public interactions due to a staff illness. Individuals who have adoption appointments scheduled for November 15th or 16th will be contacted to reschedule. Individuals needing to redeem an animal should call 330-643-2845 to schedule an appointment. Um, I'm gonna put a link to this also in the description so you can find out more information. All right, let's see. Oh, this is fun. I have a little image for this. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Reminds me of that song. Here we go. Macedonia uh, Police Department is going to start up their shop with the cop again this year, and they're taking donations. It's a program where the cops get together and help children with families who might be having a hard time getting um, some Christmas gifts together. So contact the police department if you'd like to make a donation for that. Um, I told you there's like a lot going on. I'm not joking. I'm not joking at all. The um, VFW Post 6768 Auxiliary is having a soup tasting basket raffle. November 20th, two to five. Um, so there's gonna be lots of homemade soups, basket, <laughs> basket raffle fundraiser um, for the auxiliary. They'll have a 50-50 lottery ticket, snow shovel raffle, Ooh, snow shovel. Yes, we need those. $5 for five tastings. And again, I will put a link so you can have more information about that. Ooh, so I was on Facebook and found a bit of news about a local oh sorry lights out for a minute there <laughs> um a local student doing good as well this is june guy let me see if i can find her information she earned the appreciation pin at the higher adult um award ceremony for girl scouts um, so, you know, we love to applaud our local students that, that are doing well. If you have a local student that you would like to let us know, maybe they won an award or um, overcame a challenge that we need to applaud, um, you definitely need to let us know so we can give them a round of applause. A round of applause. How about that? All right. You know what? Boop, boop. I'm going to do my raffle now. All right, so let me just put up different background for the winning thing. Um, oh, I wasn't supposed to put that up. Oh, yeah, let's just move along here. I was going to do that. Yeah, okay. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Raffle time. So I haven't even looked at these. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I should. I just lied there. I did count them. <laughs> but that's really all I did. I counted them. I should have my dog pick one or something. I'm all crazy with them. All right. All right. Let's pick one. Pick one. Looking that one. Crazy, going crazy, going crazy, and the winner is. Winner is Alan Ziga. Alan Ziga. Contact Alan and give him his. Well, I won't give him his ton of fun. Um, it'll be waiting for him at Postnet. So there you go. There's our winner. Yay! All right, congratulations to Alan. Let's see what else we have to talk about. 
Oh, yeah, social media classes. Oh, wait, wait, first, let me sec make sure I don't have any more pictures that, that I didn't put up. You know, because sometimes afterwards I'm like, oh, shoot, I forgot this. Oh, and see, there is one here. I did forget. Don't grill me. Don't grill me. <laughs> I was at Ben Treasures today and look at all the grills lined up. See, this is the perfect time to buy something that's off season. They have a real nice selection of grills. And, you know, might make a good present maybe to put beside the tree. I mean, I wouldn't put it, you know, under the tree unless you have a tree in the yard or something. I don't know. But um, yes, yes, yes. Um, while I was there, I also noticed they're starting to get some Christmas decorations and like, you know, um, Christmas towels, um, but, you know, shirt boxes. Um, they have more like more toys and games and puzzles. You know, if you're going to get stuff for the holidays, you better start now because you may, there may be supply chain issues. Um, and I'm encur encouraging people to shop local as much as you can. I know you could buy things online and get it on your doorstep tomorrow. But, you know, help at a local business. If you're looking for something and there happens to be a store in town that sells it, you know, try the store first. And then if you can't find something, you know, go online to shop. Um, and, you know, Amazon does... Um, Hi, uh, you know, some people around here actually work at the Amazon store or man, I can't talk today. Huh. That's okay. I'm almost done. Um, but there are local people working at the Amazon in Twinsburg, which is nice. But um, we still, are, you know, our brick and mortars in town um, need to get um, your support as well. And um, for our, our newspaper that comes out next week, we will have the start of a holiday buying guide. So maybe you can get some ideas. Uh, for example, Blossom and Bows is a wonderful place to get gift items and clothing and um, shoes and purses. And you can even take craft classes there. You know, it'd be a great gift card that you could give or a gift certificate you could give somebody. Um, and a lot of people don't know they're in town. So that's an example of um, stores that we want. You know, we want more people to know about them. Because it's, it's important. Our local economy is, is important to everybody, not just the business owners. Uh, let's see. Okay. I thought there was uh, one other thing. Um, I know I wanted to talk about my social media classes a, just a little bit. Do, do, do. Um, because the expo is um, one of the places that we, um, that we promoted that. You know, it's just kind of like we just by the way shop nordonia has um jabbering with julie mugs like the one alan one here has shirts has shirts with slogans on them so when you're talking about the holidays you know you could get a a shirt that says um do you have a store coupon did you hear that what's that boom um you know um i don't know we just have a bunch of slogans on there so they make a great gift item for especially somebody you don't have any idea what to get them. And um, I am going to have more information. I could put a link down the bottom for the different social media classes that um, we're going to be offering in starting in January. They're going to be all online and um, you can watch them whenever you want. In fact, one of the things you could learn is how to make a show, how to make your own show. Ta -da! So I think I have taken up enough of your time. And I hope you have a great week and whatever you're watching this, have fun and see you next time. Bye, everybody.